frost. All right, guys, I apologize. First, right off the bat, I apologize for yesterday's episode. It was a bit, it was a bit of a Debbie Downer. <laughs> not much of a tail, but I'm kind of stuck with it. Today is not going to be like that. Today, I, I have no clue what we're going to do today. I don't know what the content of this vlog is going to be, but we'll find something, and it's going to be optimistic all day long. <laughs> Including, uh, today is forecast, they're forecasting we could get snow today. Snow already! Now, it was only a little while ago, I was always showing you how hot it was in here, and it's so hot, it's so hot, it's so hot. Now it's cool, ha <laughs> ha! But first, what we need to do is I need to whip into town. I've gotta to take, gotta take this little document. This is a septic system for our house. Septic systems are pretty handy. So I've gotta go whip this in, uh, take it to a guy so he can give me a price on doing this work. I'd like to get it done before the ground's totally frozen up, so I'm gonna do that. I've also got a little bit of other running around to do. Might even check the post office. Our stuff might be there, but it might not. Let's go. I think... I think this is where he is. I don't know, I feel weird driving to somebody's yard. I, I better turn the camera off. Alright, so here's the situation. The gentleman said he was going to be working here at this address, but I, I really feel bad about just driving into somebody else's house to their yard when I don't know for sure that he's here. So I've left him a message, hopefully he calls me back. I'm going to do my other running around and hopefully by that time I'll hear back from him. Uh, just to verify that indeed he's here or he's not here because I don't know you know I would have a hard time if somebody just came into my yard and was like snooping around so I think I, I'm just gonna wait for a little bit but also I've got a uh, post office thingy so maybe this is our stuff maybe maybe it's here let's go find out all right let's go see didn't have to park down there today that's a bonus <laughs> I think this is what I was waiting for. All right, so I just stopped off at my dad's business actually just to talk to him about some stuff. And uh, I took a little footage of this this tube laser he has. Oh, watch, it's, it's really kind of junky footage. It's just on my cell phone, but this thing is so cool. You know, I keep thinking, he's got other laser cutters too. I think there's only, there's only six cutters, six of those in the world right now. Um, but my dad also has some other laser cutters and I keep thinking, you know what? I should probably do some designs of my blades that I do a lot of and get them all laser cut rather than cutting them all by hand. I mean, for Pete's sakes, my dad has a bunch of lasers. Those things are neat. I think what I might do now is I might just drive up to this driveway and just go in the yard and hopefully I can see people working there and talk to him about this septic system. All right, so I snuck in here and then right behind me, uh, down the driveway was the gentleman that I needed to talk to. So that's great, I got him the information. Uh, he'll give me a price and... Uh... All right, let's see what we have. Hey, a knife gets band-aid, that's the best. Oh, check this out. This is new. Never gotten one of those before. Thank you, knife kits. That's sweet. Some belt clips and eyelets and screws and some washers for friction folders. All right, so today we've got a bit of a mixed bag of the different tasks I'm gonna be doing around the shop. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna glue up another knife. We're actually gonna use some West Systems epoxy. One pump, one pump of hardener. Easy way to measure right there. 
So one of the reasons we're using this today is because I've got two, two knives to glue up right now. And this stuff has a longer pot life. It's like 12 minutes. It's a little slower to harden. This stuff doesn't harden up for about, it takes like six to eight hours before it turns solid. And then it obviously takes longer to fully cure. Since we won't be getting around to uh, shaping these today, we've got time. And then, like I said, I can do more than one knife at a time, which is super, super handy. that guy drying and that guy drying. Now that the glue up's done, let's do a little bit of Kydex. Oh boy, it's getting cold in here. I definitely think tomorrow's gonna be a wood stove day, so I'm pretty excited about that. Just like that, the day has gotten away on me. I had to do a bunch of stuff with our house again, so um, we did get some good progress done. Got a bunch of Kydex work done. This one, this one. Got those suckers glued up, so that's good. And looking back at the comments from yesterday's video, I, I do appreciate all of them. You know, there's a lot of comments of support and then also some comments that disagree with my sentiments, and I really respect those as well. Part of about being a human being is that we should be able to agree and disagree with each other. You don't ever want to surround yourself with a bunch of yes people that just, oh yeah, they agree with everything you say. I don't think that's healthy. I think you really need a good balance. You obviously need support. You need people that, that back you and understand you and root for you. At the same time, people that have a, an opposite viewpoint from yours, you really need to pay attention as well because you know what? I think it's important to always evaluate where you are and always have the idea in your mind that you know what? I might not be 100% right. When I was young, I was very, very bullheaded and I would just like charge my way right through everything. I could not be told what to do and I think that's kind of typical of a young man. In a certain sense, I think it's kind of healthy too because there's such drive and ambition there that you just need to direct it somewhere and if you're just always going, whoa, whoa changing your ideas and your thoughts and your minds, you know, I was just like boom, one direction and that's as hard as I could. Now, I do have a set of core beliefs and values and things that I think are right and wrong and you need a firm foundation but I'm always interested to hear what people with other viewpoints have to say and I think genuinely think about it you know I might be enlightened I might be like you know what I, I think there's some validity to that I think that you know I could probably change the way I think or the way I feel about something uh, and then it might be like you know what I still I think you're absolutely wrong I, I'm sticking with my guns right here but I just want to say that the critics uh, that disagree with what I'd said yesterday I do uh, genuinely appreciate your comments the plan for the rest of this week is I'm gonna really bust my hump and try and get all these orders I had a huge influx of orders come in and it's great I really really do appreciate it. I absolutely love it uh, but I'm a little behind on some obviously I mean I've got a long wait now and when people ask for for knives there's a wait I'm not talking about getting those ones that are way in the future done, but there's some knives that should be going out about right now that I don't have ready, so I'm really going to make a very concerted effort to get those finished up this week, and then hopefully next week we'll free up a little more time to do some more build videos and stuff like that, because I know that's what most of you guys want to see. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. You know how that works. we got a circle and we got some playlists or whatever, but more than anything, thanks so much for your opinions, guys. really do appreciate it. it is, they are not falling on deaf ears. I really like to hear what you have to say and I think about this stuff too. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers.